What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to install different kinds of screens for your projector. I got a Nebula 4K projector, it's really awesome. I'll leave a link in the video description below all about that projector. But this video is going to be about the screens. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the screen I have mounted right now is a one by one square shaped screen. The reason why I got this one is because for one, it was really cheap, it was like 65 bucks. <laughs> But I realized later on why it was $65. It's it's not the best screen. It does it, it does the job, but it's not the best screen. But I'm gonna show you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Well, for one, what I like about it is the price. <laughs> and another thing I like about it, it doesn't bleed any light through the whole screen. And it's easy to install. It does have a pull string. And it goes all the way down and hides my TV. So during the day I'm watching TV, at night I can turn on the projector and watch a movie with the family. The reason why I got a one by one screen is because it covers the TV completely. And even though this is a 120 inch screen, which is I highly recommend 120 inch or bigger if you're gonna do a projector, but since this, this is a one by one, it's not a true 120 inch image you're watching. The image on your projector is a 16 by nine image so you're not truly getting a 120 inch image on the screen, even though the screen is a 120 inch screen. What I don't like is that the sides curl up and also when I retract it, it doesn't go all the way back into the case. It curls up right here. I'm not sure why it does that, it just does. See that? Like most screens usually do that, but this really, this is, like a complete curl almost. For the most part, there's no wrinkles. As you can see, the center has no wrinkles pretty much. And, but when you retract it, look how fast it goes up. Like it goes up incredibly fast. That's scary. <laughs> and then this right here, I don't like, I don't like that it slams up like that. And then look, it's separated. It doesn't go inside. Now I have it mounted on my joists in, in my attic. This is actually mounted in wood. It's not drywall. So I could actually hang off of that if I wanted to. I'm gonna show you how I mount the new one. Similar. If you really want to find the joist that's in your ceiling or the two by fours, I highly suggest getting Wallabot. You can use a stud finder, but Wallabot is the best way to find any kind of joist or cabling or wires. And you simply use an Android phone and you peel this off. And this is the DIY Plus. It goes through plaster, concrete. This thing's amazing. And you just slap it onto your phone and it stays on. And then you want to go ahead and plug it into your phone like so. Your phone powers it on. And you want to open up the Wallabot app. As I run my scanner right here, here's the one mount I installed already for the old screen. And you can see the stud right there. And as you can see, it tells you the center of the wooden stud, which is really cool. So with a pencil, you just go ahead and mark it on the wall. So we got the stud right here, but the problem is, is I have to mount right here and there's no stud. So what I did in the attic is I mounted a cross beam going between this joist and this joist over here. There's another one over here. And I got a measurement of 22 inches and I cut that two by four, 22 inches, and I mounted it, I screwed in, and I mounted it to this joist, and I screwed in over here, and I mounted it to this joist right there. So now I have 
another beam right here to mount to. I mark the spot where I need to drill and I'm going to take my drill bit and pilot the holes. So I marked 111 inches on one joist down there and over here I mounted a cross beam because it didn't land on a joist and I wanted to mount to wood. Now I'm going to pilot the hole. So right here I'm using the ceiling hooks and these are going to be anchored right into the wood. And I'm doing the same over here. And that right there tells you when to stop. You don't want to pull too hard you can damage the screen. Now the reason why I got white is because my walls are white and everything will camouflage better and my mounting hooks are white. So everything kind of hides in. No light leaks through because the back is painted black. As you can see, this looks way bigger because this is a true 16 by nine, 120 inch screen. The screen is more expensive. But as you can see, it doesn't curl up right here. And, and everything is built better. And there's no wrinkles in the screen. It's mounted, it's mounted up nice and secure in the wood. And what's really nice about this is check this out. It doesn't slam. This actually goes up nice and slow and even. Look you know how slow that is. And it goes right inside. It doesn't hang down. Whereas the other one, the screen was exposed right there. And this one goes right into the case. So there's my projector. I mounted it also to a joist. The screen is compatible for 4K projectors with HDR and even 3D. That is the autofocus. So it is nighttime. Everything is set up. I turned on the projector. Everything fills in nice and neat. The 16 by 9 format fills in the screen perfectly. There's no curling on the sides, as you can see. And when I'm done with the projector screen, it goes slowly up into the casing, which is fantastic. This screen does not leak any light whatsoever, and it really shines on a 4K projector. Yes, this is a 4K HDR smart projector, and the model is Nebula Cosmos Max, and it has four 10-watt speakers giving you 3D sound, and it has built-in Google TV, which is awesome, and the remote has a microphone. So let's go ahead and test that out. Show me videos on YouTube of Tampa Tech. Oh, there I am. So let's go ahead and check out one of my videos and see how it looks. What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to fix your LED LCD TV. It has no picture, black screen. Yeah, it looks good. Look at this. First thing you always want to do um, before you 
So the colors really pop. Like it's amazing that these projectors look as good as HD TVs now or 4K TV that is. Check out the links in the video description below. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if this video was informative. Click on the share button below to share this video to anyone that this video may interest and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.